Well, uh, you know, to be honest with you, so far it's, it's been pretty good. Uh, overall, you know, the, the guys have done well to respond to the things I've asked them to do. But it, it's, it's a learning curve, and it's going to take them uh, time. We want it to happen quick. Uh, this, this last weekend was uh, a bit of a stumbling block. But, uh, you know, we, we had some obstacles in our way. We had uh, some standing water on the field that uh, certainly didn't help us, especially with our quickness and our speed. But uh, at the end of the day, both, both teams had to play with it, and we, we had our chances to come away with it, but we didn't. But I think we're going to take a lot out of that game and look forward to this weekend. Well, you, you know, one of the things we've been doing with all the games is try to take the result piece out of it and look at the performance. And so w with the wins that we've had, we wanted to, to, to look at the, the nuts and bolts of it. And we're doing the same thing with the loss. There were things uh, in the loss within our control that we need to improve on. And so that's what we're going to do. I think it's, it's very, very critical that our players don't get held hostage by the results. Because sometimes in our game, the results will do that to you. When you're getting some wins, you kind of think that you've got everything nailed down and, and you know, heading into Pac-10s in a couple of weeks. That might not be the case. So we're going to focus on the things that we can control, and that's exactly what we did with the Seattle U game. Well, it's a, it's a, 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 for me personally, it, it's, a, it's a pretty impactful weekend as far as the, the, the Hensers Air Memorial because I had the, the, the opportunity to coach Stephen and Joe. And both of those young men were just the finest young men you can find, and, and they were just superb players. And, and we're just so... We're at a loss that we, we lost them so young. But uh, this, this tournament uh, will, will hopefully continue to have their name live on. And I think from a legacy point of view, it's important for our players right now to know that they are trying to live up to that legacy that these two young men helped create for Oregon State soccer. So it's a big weekend for us as far as that foundation and in that tournament. Well, I know that uh, last year they, they, the, the Beavers played Marist in, in New York. And I know that was a hard-fought affair out there. Um, I believe we played Marist back in 2002 uh, when, when I was a part of the staff. So, you know, they'll be traveling out west and, and, and looking to uh, play two tough games. And, you know, every game that you have is, is tough. People ask me, well, how good are they? And I just say, you know, every team's good enough because that's all you need to be is good enough. And so I'm expecting a, a fantastic game out of Marist. And the second game of a weekend is always tricky because it's the team that responds to the loss of energy from the first game is going to be the ones going to have a leg up. And so I'm expecting the Beavers to come out and respond that, the, the way they need to respond because Marist is, is, is certainly a team that's coming out here to do their best and get a couple wins out of it.